I call it the shin killer. It weighs 90 pounds, it kind of tips over easy, and there's nothing about it that's child friendly. I think it looks dope. I'm keeping in mind that when I mark the angle for these legs to splay out, I'm keeping the weld on the tube on the inside face so that you can't see it as easily. It'll just look a little cleaner. I'm putting in this oak wedge because the tube is going to want to pinch on my cutoff wheel. The top of this coffee table is going to be 3 8 hot rolled steel. It is going to weigh so much. I'm so excited. And I'm also excited because this video is sponsored by Send Cut Send. They're an online laser cutting service that offers a wide variety of metals. I sent them the CAD drawing for this coffee table top and they laser cut it out of 3 8 plate steel and shipped it to me. Thank you Send Cut Send. I just drilled and tapped these plates that'll get welded to the top of the legs and then bolted underneath the tabletop. I'm trying to lay out the splay of these rear legs and my drawing that I drew up in Fusion 360 doesn't really make sense, so I'm trying to figure it out on the fly. I think the angle of these legs should match this taper here. That makes sense. I have a mag drill now. I've wanted one of these since the moment I learned what they were a couple of years ago. So amped! I'm countersinking these holes for these flush head screws and to nail the depth of the countersink, I tested it on a piece of scrap steel and then I'm using some dial calipers to grab the diameter and kind of eyeball it to the part. I'm about to bolt the legs on for the first time. I am so excited. Hot diggity dog. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. Oh, my shins are gonna love this. Hot dog. That's a problem. It's not super stable in that direction. The legs aren't wide enough apart. In hindsight, I, uh, I should have made this table a little bit wider and then the legs could have been a little bit wider. What to do, what to do. So I played around with this a little bit. I moved the legs further apart and I rotated them out just a little bit. One option for relocating the legs could be I plug weld these three holes and then redrill the other three holes. Or I weld a flange to the top of the legs to pick up the other three hole locations. I want to take a second to let you guys know that I just launched a Patreon. Patreon is an excellent way for you to support what I do here and ensure that my videos can continue. If you're interested, the tiers start at $3 a month. I don't have a ton in the way of rewards just yet, but that will come with time and with more patrons. If you're interested, I'll have a link down in the description.
I spent a lot of time agonizing over the design of this apron because I knew that it would make or break this furniture piece and steer it away from looking like an ironing board. I ended up just tack welding the apron on because it's not really structural and I didn't want to risk warping the top. This is a router bit for steel. My friends at Fair to Braces were kind enough to send this over and I am so amped to try this out. It's a 45 degree chamfer bit and I'm going to deburr the top edge and put a heavy chamfer on the bottom edge of the tabletop. I found that if I put some masking tape down first and then cut it conventionally, take the tape off and go back and climb mill it, then it leaves a super clean finish. Ooh. There's still a sharp edge on the top and the bottom of this cut, but I can do just a quick and simple draw file. Super clean. Wow. It's almost as if it was milled. I switched routers because my friend Chris messaged me and reminded me about the maximum RPM on this cutter. This router is variable speed and even at its low setting it's barely slow enough. If you want to learn more about this awesome cutter, I'll have a link to a video right here to my friend Chris's channel, Make Everything Shop. He has a video explaining everything you'll need to know about this router bit. I don't know where the pads are for this thing, so I'm just making do. this didn't turn out looking like an ironing board. That was the running joke in my Instagram stories as I was building this. Dadgummit. What's weird is I haven't even looked at an ironing board since well before I designed this table. In fact, I was looking at a totally different reference material when I did design it. I was looking at these ships from Star Wars Episode 1 and 2 and I was really liking the triangular shape with the three legs all pointy and splayed out. And then from there it evolved to what it is now and coincidentally kind of looks like an ironing board. Whatever, okay? <laughs> it is what it is. I still think it looks cool. Anyways, if you like this video, you're welcome to subscribe and make sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next video. If you wanna see more furniture projects just like this one, I'll have a playlist right here. See you on the next one.